Welcome to the demo session on quality assurance and business analysis from YesM Systems. So now let's go ahead and talk about QA. There are many of you who want to do QA. So okay. So um, normally I uh, make some other topics when I teach. Especially you know I some other topics I make it interactive. Some other topics I may make it you know lecture mode. Okay. Um, so uh, there are here is one topic which we can discuss uh, back and forth. You know. So okay. So what is QA? That is what we are going to learn the next to 15 minutes. What is QA? Okay. So in order to learn what is QA, first of all you need to okay so the prerequisite for learning about what is qa what is testing is you should uh, forget the fact that okay there is forget the fact that testing is associated with software you should forget that fact first okay so let's take up uh, what is uh, uh, qa okay qa is nothing but you are assuring quality it stands for quality assurance Okay, so you are assuring quality of a product based on some testing, right? You are assuring, you meaning the tester is assuring, assuring quality of a product based on, uh, be, be quality of a product based on some testing. So now first let's take the word product. What is a product? Okay, so let me. Uh, you you have to mute and unmute. Okay, so Lavanya, you wanted to do QA. So, do you understand the concept of a product? What is a product? Can you give me an example of a product? Can you unmute Lavanya? Yeah, I did it. Okay, so what? Okay, can you give me an example of a product? Product. Any product. Yeah, any product. Give me any. Yeah, any product. Uh, like what? You have to tell me. So give me an example of a product. It's a pen. Pen. Okay. Fantastic. Right? Pen, pencil, TV. Right? Uh, uh, home. And Lavanya, do you think software is also a product? Of course. Okay. So it doesn't matter. That's why I was saying the first thing I started was you should forget the fact that testing is associated with the software. Okay, the tester is assuring quality of a product. So replace that word product with pen, pencil, TV, home software. So this definition is true for all the products. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, so you should uh, understand the fact that you should understand the, the fact that software is a product. You should understand the fact that software is a product. Software is a product. Very, very important concept for a QA and a BA. Okay. So once you understand that that it is software is a product, lot of concepts uh, will uh, fall in place. Okay. So now the next question is, the tester is assuring quality of a product based on some testing. So the next question is, okay, testing. So you do testing. You meaning the tester will do testing, the tester will do testing based on, based on what? What is the question? Okay, when you test a car, let's say you want to test a pen, let's take that pen. So if you want to test a pen, you know, so based on what you are going to test, you know, so is it go, oh, it looks beautiful. Is it like that? So how you are going to test? Meaning based on what? based on what benchmark okay so let's discuss that question okay Paul uh, you can take that question so when you are testing a product television suppose you know you can even take television or even a car that you buy so when you are testing the car based on what you are testing uh, depending on a brand and the pricing and all that brand you you don't test test the pricing suppose you want to buy a new car you don't test the pricing itself 
right you go to a car dealership you test drive you open the door you close the door you you know open the hood and check the engine okay yeah. so the, all these things are based on what so when you are uh, test driving a car the car jumps 5 meters up and falls down is it okay how do you know it is okay and not okay how do you know it is uh, the product is working and not working comparison to all, uh, other product comparison to other product if there are no other products there is only one product then what do you do basic fundamentals for that particular product where are the basic fundamentals uh, you know defined it's just mindset <laughs> huh? mindset yeah no when you buy a product like television something comes with that uh, product what is that called some book booklet comes with that yeah yeah warranty guarantee picture quality mother so where is the the, uh, the picture quality how to operate is all defined yeah yeah you understand in a user manual right yeah yeah even yeah. when you buy a car there is a user manual so in layman's term so this is not 100% what i'm telling you is not 100% right yeah so in layman's term you can pretty much pick a user manual from the car and you know if you want to test the radio you can really do it you know it will say operate this button volume should increase you can increase the volume decrease the volume that is testing okay. testing based on okay you test a product based on some specification okay stay on mute the common or set preset standards okay always remember this is another important lesson you know so testing whenever you do testing you will always do uh, testing based on some set specifications requirements or standards okay so this is also i give a very easy example okay so let's say you know your friend is visiting you close friend no 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 for uh, you know since you are a child friend is visiting you right she is uh, she or he is saying hey prepare hey please prepare spicy food for me so that is a requirement that is your friend's requirement okay and uh, you know so you prepare the food you design and uh, you know develop the product okay then you test the product when you test the product you know will you be testing oh how sweet it is no you'll be testing whether it is how spicy it is right why because that is what the requirement tells you the requirement is tell, telling you that it has to be spicy so when you test the product you will be testing whether it is spicy or not okay so uh, so that is exact that is why i said the tester will do testing based on specifications or requirements or standards okay so what you are learning here is testing what i am teaching you is good for software testing also okay so in fact so what it tells you is okay one other important concept I, i tell people is some many many testing concepts are as old as time and many testing as old as time and they are and such concepts or integrated into software test so any of your friends comes and tells you oh software testing you know this and that no they are they are just talking about software testing but the the concept they are using is as old as time okay so human beings uh, you know learnt a lot uh, you know based on testing you know initially if you look at it there was when i was very young there used to be a movie called uh, history of the world i don't know how many of you have uh, seen that movie so if you it's a very funny movie okay history of the world anybody here has seen that movie okay so they so show how fire you know fire uh, uh, was uh, uh, discovered so suddenly you know somebody will be playing with the two stones so they will be rubbing the two stones and all of a sudden a spark will come then they realize that that is fire okay so how do they found again testing by just experimenting testing so many testing concepts i you know as old as time and such concepts are integrated into software testing okay many it testing concepts okay so we will also look at that i will also prove this point to you 
okay um, so now when you when you do testing so there is also two types of testing manual testing what i again i'm telling you is good for software and car or any other any product that you take there is manual testing and automation testing okay so there is manual testing and automation testing so look for clues here what is manual testing man what is this man that means human you know it is being tested by a human being that is manual testing for example uh, our friend uh, Paul uh, you know go to buy a, a new television so Paul is standing in for the television okay and uh, before buying she wants to test the product so what does she do so she goes to the television you know checks the volume uh, channel she's changing the channel she's changing the color contrast and so many she she's a very good tester she tells will she will uh, you know play around with it for 30 minutes and say oh yeah this television is good i like it she orders a new television so she gets a new television to her home then again she's testing it making sure that you know it is uh, the television in the box is working as good as the one she saw in the uh, store so what she do the entire testing is she is doing it you know Paul is doing it so manually doing it that is why it is called uh, manual testing then what is automation testing okay let's say uh, Sony Sony they, you know they have thousands of television available in Sony right the manufacturer and it is not for someone like Paul to go and test each television it will take a lot of time so what the Sony does is they hire a robot okay so what the robot can do is Paul took 30 minutes robot can test it in three minutes okay so robot will go to television one two three four and test it very quickly you know so hundred televisions in probably 300 minutes or lesser so whatever a human being can do robot can do fast so speed time robot uh, saves time less time efficiency more efficient okay less dollars dollars saving dollars is also saved okay so that is exactly what is automation testing so the purpose of automation testing is to in the from a software perspective here human being is uh, uh, doing it human being is uh, replaced by an efficient tool efficient software tool okay who can do the job you know speed efficient okay cost less and accuracy more accurate and that doesn't need a coffee break tea break nothing right but bathroom breaks so it can work efficiently okay and uh, to get an idea of what I am talking about this one if you ever get a chance every uh, demo batch I tell them to go and see the movie robot it's uh, you know it's a good uh, entertaining movie and you'll see a robot performing that day, you know what exactly what I am telling you and uh, the uh, what he called uh, the um, uh, it's designed by Hollywood Hollywood people were involved in the sci-fi part of it so it's uh, you know uh, they have some of the scenes are uh, excellent you know so how robot uh, performs the job is extremely good to watch okay so that is exactly what is automation testing okay so now these are all again uh, basics we covered on one more point I need to cover in testing is many IT testing concepts are as old as time such concepts are integrated into software testing so let's see one example so let's say one of you next person let me pick up some other name not Paul Purushottam who is busy checking his email right Purushottam okay to decide to buy a used car okay so you know scenario you are buying a used car okay so one of the legitimate test is okay okay so this is one legitimate test you can do and with a wrong key so you'll also open the car with a wrong key the car door should not open so these two are legitimate tests 